Ascension Texas says it has reached an agreement with Blue Cross Blue Shield, and without it, local patients would have lost coverage at Ascension facilities on January 31st. This comes as Ascension faces other problems, including layoffs. KXN's Mercedes Hernandez is live where nurses are holding a vigil for better working conditions as well. Mercedes. Good evening, you guys. Now, the vigil out here is just starting to get underway. You can see behind me that some organizers are starting to gather. They still got about 30 minutes or so before everybody really starts getting together and lighting these candles. But I'm not sure if you can tell, but some of the notes that they're holding in their hand, those are actual real complaints from Ascension Seton nurses that have come into the union. Nurses here say they want change. Let's take a look. These nurses say they're tired of Ascension seat and management doing nothing. We had 60 out of 70 of our nurses sign this letter regarding safe staffing ratios on my unit. And when that letter was given to my manager, the response was, I can't accept this letter and there is no staffing problem. They say the pandemic led many to leave the industry, so travel nurses were brought in to help. The travelers are typically making three times as much as our core staff bedside nurses. We need the help and we need the hands, but there's a difference in what a traveler can provide to the unit and a core staff member can provide to the unit. These nurses aren't alone. Since the Austin chapter of National Nurses United launched, leaders say they've received hundreds of complaints from nurses. Some say understaffing has led to delayed response to hospital alarms. Well, I am responsible for these tiny fragile beings. I can't really meet all of their needs if I'm taking care of four of them at once. The nurses stress that not having enough people on staff can get people hurt. I have been out of work going on 16 months. This nurse who's asked to remain anonymous says she was injured on the job more than a year ago. It was a heavy patient to lift and technically they should have been a Hoyer lift, a mechanical lift, and they were not. And we went to lift the person and that's when I was injured. Those gathered Thursday night say they want hospitals everywhere to take note and make change. There is essentially a manufactured obstruction being created that is not going to allow us to prioritize our patient care. It seems the priority is Ascension's profits. Now, I did ask Ascension Seton about some of the claims that those nurses made about management not responding to their requests. They did not get back to me as of news time. In Austin, Mercedes Hernandez, KXAN News.